I know. Oh, yeah. But we're just saying you don't often get an autumn wedding, do you? Certainly not a church one these days. I don't think they have the heating on, have they? It's as cold as charity in here. Well, churches aren't meant to be comfortable, are they? They believe in mortifying the flesh. Doing a good job. Right, have we missed much? Only well, some rather nice hymn tunes. Oh, this is my Marcus, by the way. This is Roy. Roy owns the cafe. Hello, Roy. How do you do? He's all right, thanks. And don't start crying, otherwise you'll set me off. I don't cry at weddings. I do. Buckets. You said I'd find this interesting. No, it hasn't started yet, has it? Give it a chance. Leaving a bit late if he's going to make a run for it. Don't worry. Rides are always late, but in my experience, they always arrive. You got the rings? No. Why aren't you? Actually, come to think of it, I have. <laughs> Thought we might find David here. Yeah, well, we haven't. And this way, please, everyone. <laughs> I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't care. That's the way. I'll just move inside, get you to come down oh, the aisle, all right? Thank you. You all right, Beth? Yeah, yeah. We're fine, aren't we? <laughs> Are you still thinking about him? No. I'm thinking about you. I'd like to welcome you all to St. Christopher's and to the marriage of Sarah and Jason. We are here to witness their becoming man and wife. We will celebrate with them and pray for God's blessing that they may find strength and companionship and comfort in one another and that they may support one another in good times and in bad. The vows you're about to take are to be made in the presence of God, who is judge of all and who knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. 